Philippines is one of the dynamic developing Asian countries facing significant challenges due to rapid motorization and deteriorating public transport systems. Faces of passengers from Malolos going all the way to Tutuban. They are frustrated, exhausted, face delays of everyday commute during rush hours. An insufficient public transport system in a highly urbanized city like Manila can cause a lot of problems to people's day-to-day -day life. Without trains, people are forced to commute through buses or jeepneys longer due to heavy traffic congestion in Metro Manila. In order to promote inclusive growth and improve transport system within and outside Metro Manila, the Philippine government will build a north-south commuter railway project in addition to the existing commuter railways such as LRT-1, LRT-2, MRT Line, and PNR Line. The North-South Commuter Railway project will utilize the old right-of-way of the Philippine National Railways and aims to providing a safe, fast, and reliable rail transport system. The Roadmap for Transport Infrastructure Development for Metro Manila and its surrounding areas, Region 3 and Region 4A. The objective of this study is to formulate Transportation Infrastructure Roadmap for Sustainable Development of Metro Manila and its surrounding areas. At present, Metro Manila is facing three major urban problems which are closely interrelated with each other. These are the traffic congestion, vulnerability to natural disasters and lack of affordable housing. With a backdrop of these problems, the dream plan proposed in the infrastructure roadmap aims to achieve five no's for Mega Manila. No traffic congestion, no households living in high hazard risk areas, no barrier for seamless mobility, no excessive transport cost burden for low income groups, and no air pollution. The Dream Plan has proposed two flagship projects, namely the North South Commuter Railway Project and Mega Manila Subway Project. Envisioned to have a route length of 37.9 kilometers, the North South Commuter Railway Project composes northern section of the North South Railway Project, which is the railway master plan encompassing the Luzon Island. The distance from Malolos to Tutuban is 38 kilometers. By taking the train, the fastest journey time going to Tutuban is 35 minutes at 64 kilometers per hour on average. By riding on a bus or jeepney, it will take almost two hours to reach Tutuban considering heavy traffic congestion on highways. The North-South Commuter Railway features an eight-car train that can accommodate up to 2,238 person. The air-conditioned train will be made up of lightweight stainless steel that runs up to a maximum of 120 km per hour with a headway of six minutes in between trains. Faster transactions, more affordable operations, more efficient collection. Our transport solution makes this possible through an automatic fare collection or AFC. This will bring important benefits to the 1 million daily passengers using the rail lines not only LRT Line 1, LRT Line 2, MRT 3, but also to the future NSCR. This AFC will remove the current inconvenience of buying separate tickets for separate lines. Disaster mitigation technologies from Japan, such as seismic design method, is applied to the North-South Commuter Railway project to ensure the safety of railway structural facilities and passengers during major earthquakes, secure economical design, and provide aesthetic and slim cross-sections for structural components. The North-South Commuter Railway project costing $2,619.4 million is estimated to generate a total economic benefits of $47,929 million over a span of 35 years, or an economic IRR of 20.5%. The economic benefits include significantly reduced travel time, fuel costs, and air pollution. From a financial perspective, the project is not only expected to be self-sustaining from fares, but it is also expected to generate a financial IRR of 9.4% in a span of 35 years. The North-South Commuter Railway project will also have a tremendous positive benefits of the environment by reducing the air pollution. Upon the start of the North-South Railway's operation in 2020, greenhouse gases from vehicles are expected to be reduced by 97,000 and up to 261,000 total by carbonate per year by 2040. 
faced with the urgent need to improve connectivity of the existing and the future railway lines in Manila and the increasing desire of its citizens for live, work, and play in their communities, a transit-oriented development will be embarked in the Tutuban Station area. Passengers will soon be able to easily transfer on foot from the North-South Commuter Railway project to LRT Line 2 and vice versa and new urban residential and commercial developments will be built within this 20-hectare historic property. The Tutuban Station area will see a widening of key roads in the Gupan Street and others in its surrounding area in a property development which will feature a multi-story commercial complex integrated with the North-South Commuter Railway and LRT2, a public space with landmark facility and commercial complex surrounded by green space and a mixed-use residential and commercial zone. The ground floor of the station will be utilized as jeepney boarding or alighting and commercial area will contribute to mitigating the traffic congestion along Claro M. Recto Avenue as well as to meet the demands of affected street vendors by the construction of LRT Line 2 station. Once North-South Commuter Railway Project starts operation, greater opportunities open up to people. It would be more convenient and comfortable to students, employees, and businessmen to travel to Manila without hassles or delays, but also to easily access the burgeoning business and job opportunities in the country's capital. It will be the game changer. The North-South Commuter Railway Project makes citizens more mobile. The North-South Commuter Railway Project, building sustainable transport and better economy.